to have, I want to turn to you. Are you familiar with China's 2017 national intelligence law, which states, quote, all organizations and citizens shall support, assist, and cooperate with national intelligence efforts in accordance with the law and shall protect national intelligence work secrets they are aware of? Yes, I'm familiar with this. TikTok is owned by ByteDance. Is ByteDance subject to the law? For the Chinese businesses that ByteDance owns, yes, it will be subject to this. But TikTok is not available in mainland China. And, Senator, as we talked about in your office, we built Project Texas to put this out of reach. So, so ByteDance is subject to the law. Now, under this law, which says, shall protect national intelligence work secrets they are aware of, it compels people subject to the law to lie to protect those secrets. Is that correct? I c cannot comment on that. Um, what I said again is be that we have moved you have out to of protect reach those today. secrets. No, Senator, we, TikTok is not available in mainland China. We have moved the data into but, an American but TikTok cloud infrastructure. TikTok is controlled by ByteDance, which is subject to this law. Now, you said earlier, you said, and I wrote this down, we have not been asked for any data by the Chinese government, and we have never provided it. I'm going to tell you, and I told this when you and I met last week in my office, I do not believe you. And I'll tell you, the American people don't either. If you look at what is on TikTok in China, you are promoting to kids science and math videos, educational videos, and you limit the amount of time kids can be on TikTok. In the United States, you are promoting to kids self-harm videos and anti-Israel propaganda. Why is there such a dramatic difference? Senator, that but, is just not accurate. Uh, there is there, a there's lot not of, a difference between what kids see in China and what kids see here? Senator, TikTok is not available in China. It's a separate experience there. Uh, what, what I'm but, saying but is... But you, you have a, a company that is essentially the same, except it promotes beneficial materials instead of harmful materials. That is not true. We have a lot of science and math content here on TikTok. There's so much uh, of it uh, that created right, a stem feed for okay, let, 100 let me, let me billion point, let, me point, let me point to this, Mr. Chu. There, there was a report recently uh, that, that compared hashtags on Instagram to hashtags on TikTok, TikTok and what trended. And the differences were striking. So for something like hashtag Taylor Swift or hashtag Trump, Researchers found roughly two Instagram posts for every one on TikTok. That's not a dramatic difference. That difference jumps, jumps to eight to one for the hashtag Uyghur. And it jumps to 30 to one for the hashtag Tibet. And it jumps to 57 to one to the hashtag Tiananmen Square. And it jumps to 174 to one for the hashtag Hong Kong protest. Why is it that on Instagram, people can put up a, a hashtag Hong Kong protest 174 times compared to TikTok? What censorship is TikTok doing at the re request of the Chinese government? None. Senator, that analysis, that, analysis is flawed. That the analysis is flawed. It's been debunked by other external sources like the Cato Institute. Fundamentally, a few things happen here. Not all videos carry hashtags. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you cannot selectively choose a few words within a certain time Why the period. difference between Taylor Swift and Tiananmen Square? What happened in Tiananmen Square? Senator, there was a massive protest uh, during, in, in, during that time. But what I'm trying to say is our users can freely come and uh, post Why this Why would there be no difference on Taylor Swift or a minimal difference and a massive difference on Tiananmen Square or Hong Kong? Senator, could you wrap up, please? Se Senator, our algorithm does not suppress any content simply based on To answer it that question, why yeah. is there a difference? Like I said, I think this analysis is flawed. You're selectively choosing some words over some periods. We haven't been around this there long as other apps. There is an obvious difference. 174 to 1 for Hong Kong compared to Taylor Swift is dramatic. Senator Blumenauer.